So I, I do want to remind folks, well, a couple things, and just correct me if I'm wrong. We are voting tonight for the city to file a home rule petition that basically moves part of Volucci Plaza, the square footage across the street, right? So the, the questions about design, about where the bike, I mean, those are all things that are still in play and can still be worked out. This is, so let's, I don't want to confuse, well, you know, I think the light should go on the right-hand side and the left-hand side, so I'm going to vote against this, right? Those are still things that are going to be talked about and can be, and can be worked out. So let's just, just trying to bring us back to what we're, you know, what we're really voting on tonight. I'll also remind folks that Councilor Toomey and I filed a policy order to start the process to redesign this square a year before Amanda Phillips was killed, and um, that was two years ago. So this has been at least a three-year conversation. Um, and, you know, I, I, I don't know. I've met with folks who are concerned about the trees, and I get it, and I, re and I respect it. And But if I thought that we would have movement where there would be some room for, I don't think any plan that involves cutting down the trees is ever going to get folks who feel so strongly about the trees to say we support this project. And that's fine. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't say that with any disrespect. I, I know the people who you know, are sitting here, and I, I have tremendous respect for them. But I think you know, they don't want the trees moved. And any plan that involves moving the trees or cutting the trees down, is, we're not going to reach a compromise. I think Vice Mayor said it right. We are at gridlock now. Um, and I think, you know, if we were to, we received many, many emails from Cambridge residents in Inman Square in support of this project. We received many who weren't. If we were now to say, okay, we're going to, you know, we're going to go back after two plus years of community meetings, and now we're going to change everything else to keep Felucci Plaza the way it is, you're going to have a whole host of other people in this room saying, wait a minute. We took part in this process for two years, and now you're pulling the rug out from under us. I don't think this... this so I don't, I don't know if we're going to get to this win-win that I think we would like. Um, so for me, you know, I, I think about a couple things. I think about safety. And, you know, and I, I know this is going to come out wrong. I think, we, I think we all say that how much we care about the tree canopy and whatnot, and I think there are things that we need, we need to do. But I gotta say, I have heard people oppose affordable housing being built because one or two trees get cut down. I have heard people oppose um, half a dozen other things. Now we're opposing a plan that's gonna make a unsafe intersection more safe. You know, you, you gotta, you, there's, you have to give something to get some, there have to be sacrifices, right? And if we believe that this is a safer design, I think it probably, I think it's safer than what we have. I agree, not every cyclist is gonna use the bike lane. Some of them are gonna go through, but that's, I mean, we might as well say, let's get rid of traffic lights, because not every driver stops at a, at a red light, right? People do things that, aren't against, that are against the rules. If everybody followed the rules, we would all be much safer and happier, but that's not gonna happen. It's not a reason not to do something. My guess is that far more people will use the bike lanes if they're there um, than, than who won't. Of course some people won't. I still see people bike down the middle of Western Ave with a great bike lane right there. But the fact is, since we built it, you, there's tons of people using that bike lane who are off the street. So I do think it will work. Um, process, you know. How much is enough, right? Six meetings, seven meetings, 10 meetings. Is 11 meetings gonna be enough? Is 12 meetings gonna be enough? At the end of the day, it comes down to what we see all the time, right? And we're, I'm guilty of it too, we're all guilty of it, that if the end result is something we don't like, the first thing we say is, well, there wasn't enough process. 56 meetings on Volpe, and we still had people coming up and saying there wasn't enough process. So I, I don't think we're ever gonna get to the point where folks who are unhappy with the design are gonna say, the process was good. So we have to make that decision for ourselves. And I, I attended some of those meetings. They were packed, overflow rooms. And they were packed with people of very different opinions, right? So it wasn't like, 
people weren't being heard and, and people were being silenced or their opinions weren't, weren't, weren't heard. Did that process lead to any changes? Yes. The city made changes to their plan based on things that they've heard. So, you know, yeah, we could go round and round again. We could delay this and, and it will it'll miss this legislative session and we'll come back and, you know, maybe it's another year. Are we going to be in a better place? I, if I thought we would, maybe I'd feel differently, but I don't think we are. I think we're going to end up with the same points of view. And, you know, I'm not, I feel, I feel horrible that we filed a policy order over a year for this process to start and it didn't happen and somebody got killed. I don't want to delay this another two years and take that risk again. Now granted, that, an accident like that could happen anyway, right, even after we do this. Um, but at least we've done what we feel is going to make that intersection safer. So, I mean, if there was a way, you know, I, I, it stinks that we're right up against the calendar with the, with the legislative session. Um, you know, that's not a great place to be. Um, where if we could take another week or two to kind of hash out some things, maybe that wouldn't be a big deal, but I'm afraid it is going to be a big deal in this case. So, you know, uh, I would vote for this tonight. Um, I think we have been, we have done plenty of community process. I think everybody has been heard. The people we hired to make this decision made this decision and put this in place. And again, we're never going to, we can't say anything is 100%. Um, but I don't know where we're going to be if we wait another, another 6, 8, 12 months. So that's my two cents. I don't know anyone who, Councillor Simmons, to me who didn't speak or I can go back around. No, thank no. You. no. Anybody else? I, can we vote on it? Uh, the well, can we exercise the charter right? Councillor Zondervan. Thank you. Charter right. Councilor Zondervan exercises his charter right on city manager agenda item number four. Um, before you go anywhere, or before the manager goes anywhere, um, I spoke with the manager today. He would like to make a comment on policy order number one. So I would move suspension.